Yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I, I think I wrote, I started writing the lyrics. <laughs> I probably had the title idea. And um, I just think that I like the idea of kind of writing a song that paid tribute to a lot of the people that were with us when we kind of discovered music together, like friends and peers and um, e even from from back in the day, even till now, like to to our children who are we're exposing them to music. How music is like a, a big part of our lives, and and the connection between that and just living life is really cool. So um, the lyric, the first line, I think, kind of sums it up. There's a ode to all my old buddies that helped me realize when stuff was funny. You know, kind of like, you know, we. This is how we learned about life. And a lot of it was about me through music and, um, and being youthful at the same time. Yeah, and, and still being youthful yeah, in your yeah. mind, you know. Yeah. So that never goes away. It's it's a fun song. It's it's a positive song. It's uplifting, I think. And then you know you you get through life uh, regardless. I mean, you got to be confident, win hands down. You know, you you'll get through. Yeah. Um, I think that one of the first things that inspired it was um, that movie Shame uh, with Michael Fassbender. Um, I don't know, we watched that movie, my wife and I, and it was so disturbing and weird. And I don't know if I liked it, but I did. And it was just, I think it was real creative. It was a director, Steve McQueen, who did 12 Years a Slave. Also, Michael Fassbender was in that. And that's also a pretty gnarly film. And um, I don't know, it just, it just kind of, that was linked to, I think, the society that we're living in and, and this obsession with porn and this big market that has become. And it was just, it just it was one of those things. And it, it happens a lot of times with writing lyrics. It's just something will trigger something and then it'll just be a little domino effect and it'll open up my ideas to where I want to go with it. Well, yeah. Give us some balls. That's we'll do tough. some juggling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we know that we know that uh, fans want to hear the old stuff. So we, you do have a, you do have a certain obligation to please them for that. Um, but you know, at the same time, we want to play some new songs. We're actually playing uh, in our opening set. We're playing two new songs, which maybe is a lot for being in an opening set. I don't know. But yeah, the record's not even officially it's not out. Even out yet. So a lot of there might be a lot of people out there scratching their heads, but. But you know the the songs that we're playing have have already been released on internet, so I, we're hoping that most people are familiar, somewhat familiar with what we're playing. I don't know. We just try to balance it out as much as we can. We, you know, we have this thing where we try to play at least one song from every record. I know some bands go out and sometimes don't play any songs from certain records, but we usually try to accommodate at least one song, right? Yeah, because then that's an record. endorsement of everything we've done. You yeah. know, when bands don't play songs from records, it's kind of like, I guess you don't want to, you don't yeah. like those records. You know, yeah. we like all our records. I mean